All right, thanks for checking out abc13.com. This is actually one of the biggest things that people have been interested in over the past couple of weeks. I posted on Facebook, it went crazy viral. So we're gonna continue going with this, vi what we're watching for blue bonnets and wildflowers this season. Already seeing posts that are saying they're already popping up in spots. So first of all, we're starting out with the Texas regions and I'm gonna explain typically what you see. And if you're a Texas native, you know this, most of us definitely know that blue bonnets are really in between the I-35, I-45 corridors. As far north as North Texas, as far south, even south of San Antonio, and sometimes pretty far west too. But once you go further west, you're getting in towards uh, the Edwards Plateau, and then right up here, this is actually one of the best spots for blue bonnets, up in Llano and Mason counties west of the Austin metro. That's in the beautiful Texas Hill Country. You'll get those nice mixes of Indian paintbrush, the fields of red and blue with the blue bonnets too early projections this year and we're going to talk all about it and we're going to update this continually as we go through and we'll talk about how the weather can kind of change what's going on here over the next three to six weeks or so but as of right now here's where i think we're going to be uh some of this is going to be a little bit hard to read so i'll have to say it for you and show you my post on facebook has details too and you'll see post uh details in this but blue bonnets are going to be at 30 to 40 percent per mix what that means is any mix of natural wildflowers in any given spot in this area. Now, of course, they can occur outside of this. I basically shaded the areas where I think they're gonna be the most dominant ones. So blue bonnets right in the I-35 and I-45 corridors. Let's go back to that and out to the further to the west this time, Indian paintbrush, and that also extends east towards the 35 and 45 corridors. Just because you don't see the color there, it's actually under that. So again, I think Indian paintbrush, but they're gonna be fewer and far between, one to 7% per mix. So much smaller concentration, unless you get those larger fields. Again, the best spot for that, probably gonna be in the hill country, just west of I-35. Then purple coneflowers look pretty good to set up north of Lubbock, up towards Amarillo this year. Again, you're gonna get different uh, mixes, but these will be pretty concentrated, 22 to 35% per mix, and because of the more wintry precip and rain and moisture over the past two, three months up in the panhandle, I think those could come out a little sooner, if not already. And then Crimson Clover in East Texas, this one's gonna be trickier. They've had a lot of rain in East Texas over the past two months, but temperatures have really fluctuated. And you know they fluctuated down here in Houston, but not to the degree they have up to the north. So we'll have to see on the Crimson Clovers. All right, let's talk about what's headed our way at least through the next week. More rain on the way, really looking at the middle part of the week and then there's a chance of maybe even some wintry precip up north of Texas, but hopefully that stays far enough north. I don't think we see wintry precip or the freezing line down into Texas next week, at least not for very long, maybe in far north Texas. But you don't want that to start happening later on here in February and March because that can start to limit some of the wildflower development. Now, the good news uh, for you blue bonnet lovers in April and May, this actually looks pretty good for us. Average rainfall, we don't want too much actually at this point. We're, we're actually sitting okay. We need more days of sunshine. Last month or so, we have not had that. This is the good news. Uh, more warmer days than average expected, not just possible, up to a 70% chance we'll have warmer than average conditions over the next three months as we go into spring. This is your spring outlook, February, March, and April. So this means with warmer conditions and it's looking like a little more sunshine in our patterns over the next couple of months which is par for the course that's actually going to help the wildflowers come out including blue bonnets so i'm projecting at least at this point we're already seeing some coming out i'm projecting more blue bonnets this year in higher concentrations than over the past two years and especially along those wide open i-45 and i-35 corridors the the wide open spaces right near the highways and i would say you, you already start seeing some popping up in isolated spots already. We've got uh, some people sending pictures from SciFair last week. Impressive already. So be on the watch for those. We'll continue to update this. This is a new kind of forecasting challenge to determine how many parts per natural mix of wildflowers are gonna be which type and which spots are gonna be more dominant. But again, I think this year is actually gonna be pretty nice for blue bonnets, especially if we get a nice string of sunshine and warmer days out ahead. So be on the lookout for our next forecast. We'll have many more details to come. Thanks for checking in.